all of the AI tools released in 2024, you can seriously get lost in all of the options, especially for me as a graphic designer. I just want to find a tool that's useful and high quality for my professional work. Well, one tool that I think is worth your attention is Chrome AI. And it's not just one tool, it's actually a whole suite of tools tailored specifically for creative designers and brand owners. And it doesn't matter what you're designing. It could be architecture design, video game design, fashion design, vehicle design, consumer electronics design, or my favorite, packaging design. Imagine if Adobe Firefly, Mid Journey, and Shutterstock had an AI baby. <laughs> I know that sounds ridiculous, but let me show you what I mean. In this video, I'll use Chrome AI and show you my product mock-up workflow. First, we'll generate a blank product. We'll place that product into a custom design scene. And lastly, we'll upscale and download that image so you can use it later in your favorite image editor. And as a bonus, if you stick around to the end, I'll even show you how to take your own product and swap it into a real stock photo made by humans. So enough talk, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, let's open a new tab and we're gonna go to Chrome. AI.pro. Once you're there, you're going to need to either create an account or log in. And so once you're logged in, you're going to get this screen. And so I'm going to go to AI tools and I want to go to the AI image generator. All right. And that's going to take me here. Let's start with the style. So style is basically the art style, whether you want to do something realistic, such as photography, and then you have different types of photography in here. Um, you have anime styles, 3D styles, unique styles, conceptual art, illustration, and then more traditional art styles. Um, but for us, of course, we're going to want to do some uh, photography So because we want to create a mock-up. And so um, I'm just going to choose the very first one, documentary photography. One, uh, you could choose something different. You can maybe choose fashion photography. Um, just anything that's more on the realistic side is what you want to uh, stick with. So I'm just going to choose documentary photography one and then click style again to close that panel out. Now for scenes, this is where the magic is going to happen for us because um, Chrome has a number of categories for generating specific things. But for us, we're going to want to go down to packaging design. And this is really cool because you can generate any type and shape um, basically virtually of, of the packaging you can think of. I think they have a really good selection. Now for me, I'm just wanting to uh, generate a bottle like a lotion bottle. So I'm going to find something similar to what I'm looking for. And this one right here, this personal care bottle, that's probably the closest to what I want to do for this example. So I'm going to click on there and then I'm going to click scene uh, to close that out. Now in perspective, uh, I don't want to play around with any of that for this uh, particular example. So I'm going to close that out. Ratio, I'm going to leave it at the default, which is one by one. And the lighting, I'm going to leave um, to none. Um, and then the number of images you can generate is set to three by default. I usually like to do four. I'm going to turn on fast mode because I have tons of credits. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to type in a product mockup dark gray lotion bottle. And I'm just going to keep it really simple. If you want to enhance your prompt, you can click this magic wand right here. Um, I don't find it to be too useful for me. So I'm going to leave that alone. I'm just going to click generate. First image is already done. So honestly, that looks good. And it looks a lot like the ones that I generated last time. So I may just end up using that. one. Here we have these four options. So we have this one, that one. We have this one. Huh, I, I actually like that one. We have this one. Okay, so this one is actually a little bit more interesting to me. And so I'm going to use that one. So once you have an image you like, once you hover over it, you can click edit and you can send it to one of the other AI tools. All right. So I like this image and I'm going to click edit and I want to send this over to the background diffusion. So I'm going to have to come down here to more and then go to background diffusion. And that's going to open up in a new tab. Whenever you send an image to another tool, it'll open in a new tab. And so background diffusion basically allows you to take one product image and create a number of different backgrounds or scenes for that image. And this could be with an image you import or with an image you just generated like this one. We'll have our uh, the image, um, of course, the prompt again, and then style. So of course, style is where the magic happens. 
And we're going to go in there and let's just go through the options they have. So pure color is if you want to take your product and just put it on a simple uh, minimalist color background. Um, and that could work perfectly fine. Um, but I'm going to go into small objects. They have a little bit more uh, interesting scenes. And as you can see from these presets, we're going to choose something that kind of makes sense for a cosmetic brand or a beauty brand. So a uh, house plant looks really good for me. Uh, luxury amber is okay. Let's see. Light and shadow. Lighting and shadow. I like that one. So let's do lighting and shadow. And then let's click style again to close that menu. Um, reference image is useful if you have an existing mock-up or maybe like a stock photo and you like the style and composition of it, you could import that here. And then we have the precise or precision, which is basically um, telling the AI how close to keep it to your uh, the object that you're importing this lotion bottle. But anyway, so we have our style set and um, we're just going to put in a prompt. Now, I have a prompt that I used earlier. Let me see if I can pull that up. Uh, here we go. So here's my prompt. For the reference image, I actually have an image in my assets that I want to base it off of. And it's this one right here. And, and then I'm going to click generate. But let's see what the AI gives us this time around. All right. So that light and that glow in the background is a bit too much for me. It's probably something off of my prompt, but I'm going to use one of these ones that I generated earlier. Maybe this one. Let's say I wanted to use this one. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send this over to upscaling. Hover over it and go to edit and we're going to go to HD upscaler. We're just going to copy our prompt in again here on um, the template. We're going to leave it on natural for it to be more realistic. And then the creativity, we can leave that on high. So let's just click generate. All right. And here's the image. Hover over the image near the bottom and go to slider. So we can get a before and an after look. So here's the before and here's the after. Overall, I think it did an okay job. And so once we're satisfied with that, we can hover over here at the top and we can just go to full download. Now, as a bonus tip, let me tell you how to take your existing product and swap it into a real stock photo. I'm going to go to pexels.com and I want to search for a cosmetic mock-up. And I like this one right here. So let's click on that one and let's go to free download. Let's head back over to Prome. And then we're going to go up to AI tools and we want to find erase and replace. So it's right here. Let's click on that. It says act on area. What we want to do is to insert our own object in that area. And so um, I'm going to click it off. I already have it inserted, but we're going to go to uh, upload object. And the object is actually already in my assets, but I have it here. And then the scene up here at the top, the image, the image scene I want to edit is the picture that I just got from Pexels. It says you can click continue to auto resize. So let's just click continue. And that's going to uh, import that image and start to analyze the different parts of the image. So with the magic wand, wand tool down here, which is auto selection, we want to select the part of this scene that we want to replace. And of course, we want to replace this bottle. So let's just click on different parts of this bottle make sure we can get all of it and uh, I think that should be fine of course we want to replace that bottle and it asks you to describe the object you inserted so I have green cosmetic bottle right here I'm just gonna click generate okay so let's take a look at the images it's created for us so we have this see we have this one we have this one there should be one more here we go we have this one I think this one is pretty good once you have that of course you know you can click the check mark to say hey keep that version of it so that's a little bit of Chrome AI and we've only scratched the surface on all of the AI tools and features it has to offer personally I think it's a great option for any kind of designer as well as brand owners and teams that want to stream line their workflows so if you want to check it out for yourself show your boy some love and use my affiliate link down in the description and until next time remember take chances make mistakes and create something incredible god bless